It is uh, my pleasure to introduce Mpumi Nobiva, who is our commencement speaker for the 105th commencement services at Montfort Academy. She is an international speaker, activist, and communication strategist. She has spoken at the White House, congressional fundraisers, corporate functions, and nonprofit initiatives in several countries. And Pumi grew up in South Africa and at age nine lost her mother to HIV AIDS, leaving her orphaned like millions of other children in sub-Saharan Africa. Reared in material poverty but spiritual wealth by her grandmother, she excelled in the first class of the Oprah Winfrey Leadership Academy for Girls in South Africa before coming to the United States to study. She currently holds a master's degree in strategic communications from High Point University and serves as the first alumnus on the board of directors of the Oprah Winfrey Leadership Academy for Girls in South Africa. As Nation Builder's first leader in residence, Mpumi is developing the digital infrastructure for Share Your Story Africa, an initiative inspired by her advocacy work uniting youth against HIV AIDS and domestic violence in South Africa, all while sharing her powerful story of events around the world. She is also experienced in hosting events and facilitating workshops, and we're delighted to have her today as our commencement speaker. Please welcome Mpumi Nobiba. <laughs> I come as one, but stand as 10,000. Tens of thousands of young people who believe that together we can make a real difference in this world. I come as one, but I stand as 100,000. Hundreds and thousands of hopeful young immigrants who come to America with hopes to build better lives for themselves and their families back home. Indeed, I come as one, but I stand as an estimated 3.7 million AIDS orphans in sub-Saharan Africa, with close to half of us losing our parents to AIDS-related diseases. My name is Nompumelelo Mbumi Nobiva. I am from Johannesburg, South Africa. I was born in a corrugated iron shack in a township called Zonki Zizwe, where poverty, crime, inequality, and health crisis, among many other socioeconomic issues, continue to oppress my people. I was orphaned at the age of nine when my mother died of AIDS, and I still do not know who my father is. My mother, an ambitious young 25-year-old Zulu woman with dreams far beyond her reach, had to face the reality of her soon approaching death. I imagine that this must have been extremely difficult considering that very little was to be shared about her shameful sickness. Like many, my mother was stigmatized by those who were fearful of HIV and AIDS. And yet, she still found it in her heart to recognize my humanity and share her story with me, her only child. My child, I am going to die. But you must go on because you will be different. Promise that you will work hard in school. Promise that you will be good to Ugoko, your grandmother. Promise to never stop believing in God. I come as one, but I stand as 12 million people living in extreme poverty in South Africa, many of whom are still hopeful, like my 76-year-old grandmother, who would wake up every day at 5 in the morning to go clean houses, make something beautiful that she was denied in her own motherland because of the color of her skin. Many who pushed, like my grandfather, who spent his lifetime repairing cars that people of his race could never own because of the injustice of apartheid. Yes. I come as one, but I stand as a hopeful, undefeatable creed. To many, my initial circumstances proved that I would amount to very little in this life. But my life was changed forever when Miss Oprah Winfrey, Mom Oprah, came to South Africa and built a school that would groom female leaders who are now changing the face of Africa. She has in <laughs> thank you. She has indeed taught me to turn my struggles into strength. 
It is because of her life and exemplary leadership that I stand here before you today, no longer oppressed, but as an educated young black woman who is empowered and shares her story of losing a parent to AIDS with hope to inspire courage to many who still face that struggle on a daily basis. Education, the ultimate equalizer, has afforded me a place in this world so that I too may one day be at the table where the decisions of the future are made. Education, our tomorrow has taught us that we can love and value ourselves and appreciate our differences no matter where we come from or what our purpose is. Diversity is our power. Strength is our unity for moving this world forward as a collective. My story is that AIDS took my mother and not my spirit. Montverde, it is my honor to be here today. Parents, Board of Trustees, Headmaster Casey, teachers, faculty, civic leaders, community, and our distinguished guests of honor, the class of 2018, I welcome you to this powerful day and profoundly significant moment for our graduates here today. At home, we say Sunny Bonani, a warm-hearted greeting that says, I see you all. I'd be remiss not to mention how much of an honor it is for me to stand here as a graduate of the Leadership Academy, an African girl, survivor of poverty, AIDS orphan, 25 year old, child of Nontantla Colleen Nobiva who was diagnosed HIV when she was my age and later died just two years later at 27. Faithful granddaughter of Vivian Dombise Nobiva who was 53 years old when I was orphaned, stepping, step, stepping in as my mother and father to raise me for nothing short of excellence. It is my honor to stand here before you today and address you as the first black woman to deliver the commencement speech here at Montverde Academy. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Wakanda forever! Thank you. This marks a critical moment in my own personal history as this is my first commencement speech, one that I hope will go down the books as I intend to do many other great things in service to my purpose. Graduates, I'll be honest, despite having given multiple keynotes across the world and uh, you know, currently on a 10 city international tour in Canada, I was really nervous about this delivery. I read the invite and thought to myself, whoa, are they serious? I think I was nervous because I knew what this moment means for our stellar graduates here today and their bright futures ahead. In trying to decide what to say, I reflected on 2011 when I was in your position, beloved graduates, graduating in the pioneering class of the Oprah Winfrey Leadership Academy in South Africa with the world watching. At first I thought I would share things I wish someone had told me which proved to be a difficult task, of course, because Oprah Winfrey was our commencement speecher, speaker. So as you'd imagine, she told us everything. <laughs> she dropped gems that continue to sparkle to this day. I also knew that I didn't want to come up here and repeat any words, so I'm sorry, I'm not going to tell you what Mom Oprah said, because that's already on YouTube. So here's what I came up with. 10 things to always remember. Number one the power of your story. This is the power and nucleus of any change in our world, be it at an individual, communal, societal, and even global le level, we are the stories we tell ourselves. Always be watchful of how you not only speak to yourself about yourself, but to others and the world around you. It always tells a bigger story of who you are. Number two, you are never alone. You may come as one, but you will always stand as many. If you ever need a reminder, think of the greatest hardship you have endured in life, proceed to Google it, and then observe the millions who show up as people who have endured that same struggle. Number three, the power of pursuing excellence. Simply put, nobody ever forgets the person who shows up and gives it their absolute best. Be on time, be prepared, always be ready to meet your moment of opportunity. Number four, your power of diversity, AKA Montverde, AKA the United Nations. 
You've all come far and near representing approximately 38 countries. Now that's a strong international network. I know you guys roll deep, so no, you never stand alone and don't let anyone ever get that twisted. The relationships you formed here today could be ones that you keep for a lifetime. It may not always be with the people you most expect. Trust me, life can take you by surprise. So be kind to each other as you grow. You never know who might need you or the other way around. Keep in touch. Tackle your, your experiences as a tribe. Never stand divided. Remember that division is how the great continent of Africa was conquered. But worry not, we're getting her back. <laughs> Number five, always remember you carry a strong power in just your single story. Your single voice can change the world. As you progress to your next phases in life, and of course, a round of applause to all our graduates who have made it into 208 colleges and universities. <laughs> Remember that this enriched academy has taught you much about diversity and its power. Make the academy proud. Speak up to injustice, especially when you know it has no place in our world. Reference your Montverde experiences whenever you see people mistreat each other because of differences in race, gender, ethnicity, nationality, background, economic status, sexual orientation, career aspirations, spiritual and or religious beliefs and so forth. Always remember that you experienced a wondrous diverse environment, one that proved our ability to coexist as a human race because at the end of it all, we're all human and we're all connected as one. Number six, failure is your friend. Please expect to be challenged. And when this happens, do not panic. Take deep breaths. Sometimes I take five, sometimes I take 10, depending on the situation. Always remember who you are. That will always bring you back to your strength. Whenever failure shows up in your life, say to it, hi friend, what, it is, you've, what is it that you have come to teach me this time around? Note, I said this time around because there'll be many of times, and this is okay. This is part and parcel of pursuing your dreams and living out your purpose. What only matters is that you get up each time you fall. Always, whenever I was at my lowest and my darkest moments, my benevolent grandmother would say, Never forget who you are. Number seven. Your struggles are your strengths. It is the pain of being you that is the power of being you, Bishop T.D. Jakes. Life doesn't happen to you, it happens for you, Jim Carrey. <laughs> what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. <laughs> Stand a little taller, it doesn't mean you're lonely when you're alone. Kelly Clarkson remixed by me. <laughs> Number eight. Success is a personal journey that is more of an ocean wave than it is a corporate ladder. There are no straight climbs, only natural ups and downs. Everybody goes through this, no matter what their Instagram feed looks like. Enjoy the journey, take it easy, simply ride the wave. Number nine, always do the right thing. From as far back as I can think, my biggest failures and regrets in life have always come from moments where I did not do the right thing. Always remember that karma forgets no address, so be good to people, because what you do in the dark will always come to light. <laughs> from when we were 13 years old in South Africa, Miss Winfrey always told us, do the right thing. Even if you think you can get away with it. And especially when nobody is watching you. Number 10 is taken from wonderful moments I reflect on sitting at Miss Winfrey's table. In awe of everything she has achieved as a young girl who was born into rural Mississippi during segregated America, 
sharing her wondrous events and beautiful achievements, lives she had changed. And I remember being 14, 15, sitting on the edge of that table, salivating for the manual. Where do I go to become just like you? How do I, be, how do I figure that out? Where can I take a course? Well, who do I speak to? And in very old profession, she would say, oh, but honey, don't you see? Don't you see that everything you have ever dreamt for yourself, anything you have ever wanted to be, you already are, class of 2018. In closing, when life tests your resolve, which it will, and you find yourself facing old paradigms, systems, institutions, ways of beings that promote the treating of one another in ways that we know are outdated, remember these wise words by Buckminster Fuller. You never change things by fighting the existing reality. To change something, build a new model that makes the old model obsolete. So yes, while we can always say something, most of the time, life will demand you do something. Now you get to tell your stories as young adults. Please make them good ones. Make your parents proud, Montford proud, and most of all, make yourselves proud. Be fearless in your pursuits. Live courageously. <laughs> Never allow your circumstances to define who you are or your next moments in life. Live your truth out loud, as Michelle Obama profoundly said, when they go low, always remember to go high. Never apologize for who you are and where you've come from. Again, I say, my story is that AIDS took my mother and not my spirit. What will yours be? Thank you, Montverde, and congratulations to our class of 2016. Hambili! Wakanda forever!